watching it. Can we talk about this one, please? Yeah, can I get a bit of commentary? Oh, eight seven one seven double two double three double four. Say! There it is. I don't know why I'm bothering <laughs> now. I don't know. Honestly, it's like, it's been non-stop, lads. All right? All right? <laughs> Look at them all giggling like they're eight in there. Honestly, it's like the, it's like the, the talk sport crash. Right. This is the last time I'm going to try and talk about this game. Otherwise, I'm just going to get pick my phone up and text everyone back that's been texting me throughout the show. Okay, but I bet you don't. Just text them. Might as well get the calls up now. <laughs> Shall we talk about the game? Yeah. Okay, Chelsea against Man City. I really wish Ollie just bring him just one more. <laughs> Go on, get it out of the way with Ollie. Get it out of the way so we can move on. So we can put this to bed now, once and for all. Come on. <laughs> Go on, I'm ready. Manchester City versus Chelsea. Mm. Kante's back. This is a massive game. Mendy and Kante both back. This is a massive, massive game, right? Um, there's so much I can like. Let's start with the obvious question. The, the the results in the league, where, of course, Chelsea have maybe surprised quite a few people. Yeah. Does that count for anything? I know earlier on we were talking about the playoff championship player, and I said, I, I feel it's like a dive like anything could happen. Results go out the window. How do you feel the the, the previous... The, like the last two games in terms of Chelsea beating them. Yeah. But, Listen, we know that Pep's made a few changes, but still, I think psychologically, it's in his head that Chelsea can beat them. And I said, remember I said it before, mm. and that, that caller was like, well, why is Darren saying the only team that could beat them was Chelsea, and then Chelsea beat them? It's because I just think the way Thomas Tuchel manages, like quite pragmatic, hit on the counter-attack, because Manchester City will dominate possession. But one thing Chelsea have got, in certainly in, in terms of one player, is burn speed in, in Vern if he could time his run. Yeah. So, so they can cause Manchester City problems, but it's a three times in a row, I just I can't see it happening. I can't see Chelsea beating but again. But there's so much pressure on Pep Guardiola. That's, that's there's the so thing. much pressure on Man City. So Pep, since he last won the Champions League, he won't be thinking this. But since he last won it for 10 years, he spent a billion pounds, right? Trying Point. to win it again. Yeah. Point. Hasn't won it. Right? A lot of money, that. It's a lot of money. Right? Man City have never won the Champions League. That's the pre- that's where I think Chelsea might have the edge. Is that if Chelsea don't win, yes, of course they would like to have win it. The Chelsea supporters have seen Chelsea lift it already. 2012 where they weren't expected to they beat Bayern Munich in their own stadium Yeah. so it's kind of like a, a bonus and we've seen obviously uh, Chelsea go from strength to strength win big trophies over the, the years the last decade or so but Manchester City I know I know a lot of Manchester City fans will kind of downplay it like well no we're not desperate for it if we win it if we win it if we don't we don't I think them as a football club are desperate for it which is why you bring in but, Pep but the which fans is why you, won't tell you that they won't, of course they won't tell you that but they, they, they've got to be desperate to win it because I'm sure the owners as well, that's why you go and get are going to be the best manager in the world. That's right. You get the, some of the best players about to win the biggest trophy, which is the Champions League. So, do, I, do Man City have to win it to be considered a big club? No, I don't think they have to win it. You don't think so? No, because listen, for it... I Could mean, you be a big club if you've never been champions of Europe? Yeah. I saw a big club and then they won the Champions League. No, but I'm talking about a super club. If Man City want to compete with the likes of Real Madrid, Manchester United, Liverpool... Would you say PSG is a super club? Because they've never won it. No, they haven't. They haven't. That's a good question. That's what I'm saying. So I, don't, I don't think Manchester City, like, of course, they they, sh- they need to win it in terms of just to add that to the, the, the one bit of trophy that Silverware that's missing. But I don't think it really defines them as a club because I think from where they were to where they are now, I mean, the, the rise has been superb. I mean, you look at what they've done this season again, mm. win the Premier League. Is that five Premier League titles they've won? Mm. So I don't, I don't think you can say... It. Do, you, do you think that um, the forward line for, um, for Man City won't involve Raheem Sterling? Yeah, I can't see him starting this game. Bizarre, isn't it? What's happened with even Rio Mahrez coming in? It is bizarre, but also as well, you've got to say it's that the form of Mahrez has been sensational the last mm. few weeks. Foden, we know how good he is. And it's just who do they play down the middle? Does Bernardo Silva play down the middle? Yeah. Does, is that, that Aguero, I mean, I don't think he will, but that's what makes them so strong. To go to do as well as they have done, with no recognised centre forward, and just to get the level of performance. Some, one player drops out, the other one comes in, he's been mm. brilliant. For me, that that is why they are one of the best teams in Europe. Mm. Where's the game going to be one and lost? Who, who's key for both sides? Because you talked about the options that Man City have got playing without a false number nine. Mm. It works. I sort of feel Chelsea struggle without a number nine at mm. the moment. But I'm not playing Giroud. You're not, no. or they're not, or I, both. I wouldn't play Giroud. No, I'd, probably I, go, I, I'd probably go Werner. See, I, I would play him. No, see, I'd probably go Werner down the middle, just to pace, exploit pace in behind. Him down the middle, Pulisic one side, and maybe whoever, Zayek. Or, uh, no, or, no, I'd go. I'd go Werner left, Kai Havertz down the middle, and then whoever you want, Pulisic or whoever on the on the, the right-hand side. But I think for me, the, the key, N'Golo Kante is massive because he has been brilliant the last part of the season. Yeah. Like, the I was of, always stunned that he, was, he wasn't being played in that position. It didn't make second. no sense. I could never understand it. And, <laughs> and no manager that did that 
They didn't. It was Frank didn't do it for a bit, and who was before? Sorry, Frank? didn't do sorry, it. Sorry, didn't do it. No one slaughtered him. No, sorry, got hammered. I don't think he did. I promise you, he didn't. Because every sorry. week I talk about it on the sports phone, say why is he not under the spotlight? I promise you, it? sorry, got slaughtered for All it, right, and well. Frank did the same thing, and no one really said much. But it's, you, you play him in his natural position when he's at Leicester. Leicester going to win the Premier League. He then goes to Chelsea the following season to play that holding role. He wins the Premier League. He then goes away with France, playing that holding role, wins the World Cup. So there's, there's no. I don't understand why he wouldn't play the no, best no. holding midfield player in the world in his position. I know. Any other position, any other player, you played Harry Kane at midfield, you get slaughtered. Slaughtered. I could never understand. I agree with you. I think he's absolutely key. So I think he's key. And how fit is he getting about? Mason Mount's going to be key because mm. he's been brilliant against Do you think it'll season. be a tight game? Do you think there'll be goals? I think there'll be goals, yeah. Do you? I, yeah, I do think there'll be goals. And lots of them? How do you see I the think game a fair going? Few. I see. I th- I'm convinced it's going to get extra time and pens. So I th- I've just got this funny feeling Manchester City might win 3 1. Really? Yeah. Who do you want? You want Chelsea to win? I don't know. Oh, you want Man City to win? I just feel like. Obviously, I've told you already about my obviously affiliation to Chelsea because of my father, but I just feel like what Pep's done since he's been in this country, winning that, them Premier League titles, it's the last piece of the jigsaw. And I think this season, that run they went on to come back mm. from pretty much nowhere, mm. just been absolutely smashed by Leicester, 5 2 at home. From that position there to go on and win the League Cup, win the Premier League in the Champions League final. I think I'd like to see Manchester City do it just for that reason. What about Thomas Tuchel? So he just about scraped top four. Just. Right, just. They lost the FA Cup final. If he loses the Champions League final, is he under pressure at all? Or you're, I think you're always under pressure at Chelsea. But I think if he was the start of next season, sloppy, then I think he's under real pressure. That's mad, isn't it's mad, it? But it's Chelsea. Do, I know. Do, so at any other club, you'd go, wow, like what are you doing? But because it's Chelsea and you've seen them fire managers, by the way, mm. who've won big trophies, Di Matteo. Won the Champions League? For, what was it a couple of months later? Sacked. Yeah, but I think that was. I think that was. There was a lot of reasons behind why Chelsea won that, and I don't know how high up on that list. Doesn't matter. He, he, he got it done. It's on his CV. And Chelotti won the double. Yeah, and they next got season. Sacked. Chopped. I know, that was crazy. That was crazy. So it's it's one of them where. I'm telling you. Okay, well, listen, the, the game's live on TalkSport. I can't wait tomorrow night. Chelsea against Man City. You think City are going to win 3-1? I do, yeah. I think I think it's going to go to pens. I think Chelsea will nick it on pens. But listen, what do we know? We'd love to hear from you. 0871722334. We're talking about the Champions League final. And and because we've got time on our hands, and I really want to hear from you if you've taken the time to phone us today. If you phoned us earlier on in the show, we'll squeeze your call in next. So lots of football chat coming up in just a moment. If you want to be a part of the show, you can pick up the phone. 08717 22334. It's me, Andy Goldstein and Darren Ben on Drive on TalkSport.